Hi everyone, this is Stefana Muller, and I am bringing to you our first day of 8.0. So on the first day of 8.0, the CA team brought to me a server-side recorder in a dev test tree. What does that mean? We have a new dev test portal for you in 8.0, and I'm going to demo for you just a few features of the new server-side recorder. So as you can see here, I'm on the landing page of the dev test portal, and if you go to the left navigation and hit the virtualized website, you'll be able to record a virtual service in just a few clicks of the button. So I'm actually gonna enter a recording name in. <laughs> so we'll call it dev test tree. And then I'm going to, uh, as soon as I click out of that area, you can see things change on the screen. Green check up here, the port gets selected over on the VSC server. Um, you get to enter your target URL. Now this is the key thing here on the change from the previous release that allows you now to have a single location that the entire team can go to, log in with their credentials, and record a virtual service. They don't need to install anything. And with the auto selection of the port, you don't have to worry about port conflict. So I'm gonna enter the target uh, URL to my application. My application's a banking app that I'm gonna be recording, a live recording of, and it just checks to make sure that the app is online. And you can see my status of the recording went to ready. So if I expand the status, I can see that I have a recording name, I actually got a GUID assigned to it, I have a status and port and all that beautiful stuff that we usually would see in the UI. Uh, we shrink it to the side as it's not really necessary for the basic user. In addition to that, if I were using SSL today, these are some cool new features that you can use to enable SSL. And I'm not doing it today, but I'll show you just the, the, the view of this. If you have a certificate that's presented to the server, which is a client side certificate, you would put that information in here. You can put the key store file or navigate towards it, password, the alias and the password. And once you click the validate button, it will check to see if that is a valid uh, SSL certificate and that you you have the right passwords and such. It's key, this is a key point because you can troubleshoot that before trying to start the recording. In addition to that, if you had a server side uh, certificate, which is a certificate presented to the client, you could do that over here too in the same format. Well, today I do not have a secure connection. I'm just going to start a recording of my banking app I'm actually gonna go into my banking app now and click um, over to change the port to 16624. And what I'm doing right now is I'm saying, banking app, I wanna uh, record you live. So in order to do that, I have to point you to the recorder and the recorder will then go to the, the, the regular backend server. Uh, right now, my front end is being interrupted in the center by the recorder. So as I log into the banking app, As you can see here, the transaction count went up to one. So that means the transactions are being intercepted by my recorder and they're being counted or, or, or recorded. As you can see, you can actually go in and take a look at the, the transactions if you'd like. Uh, but for these purposes today, I'm gonna go through this quite quickly. I'll go into the checking account, deposit some money. It's always good to have money around this time of year. Another transaction, I'm gonna deposit $50. I deposited 100 and I'm going to withdraw uh, 40, here we go. Uh, one more transaction, let's take a balance, and then one more after that is a statement to see all the things that I just did. I deposited 100, deposited 50, withdrew, <clears throat> actually I got a first withdraw promotion of $5 that's automatically in my business rolls that was captured, and an ATM withdrawal of $40. So I'm done here, I'm actually gonna say okay, I'm done with my ATM transactions. I captured about six transactions, actually seven as you can see over on the right side of the screen. I'm gonna stop the recording, move forward to the next step. As you can see, during the next step of configure, which again, this is a three-step record to, to deploy, which is really kind of cool. Um, what it does in the second step here, you're able to detect which data protocols were being used. So this was actually detected as SOAP. And what I'm going to say is, yes, I agree that this is SOAP, update my transaction view so I can apply that data protocol. Now, if you had other data protocols, you can pull them over into this area and then apply them. As you can see, the transactions got into a more readable format. Um, now I understand what each thing is. 
I can also go over and select one of the transactions, take a look at the response data or the request data if I want to, uh, just so I know that I captured everything correctly. Um, but at this point, I haven't actually created the virtual service yet, so let me move forward and create that virtual service. I'm gonna click Next, and the next step is to choose a project to save it into, and I can save and close, save and deploy, or save and edit. And I'm actually saving and deploying because I'm trying to do this very quickly, get the virtual service up and running for my team, and I'm gonna save this into my development environment. I'll actually use a group tag of dev. And as I hit the save button here, it saves and it tells you, hey, you've created a virtual service called Dev Test Tree, and it's successful. It's over on the Bank V5 project and it's deployed to the VSC server. I'll click OK here. I can actually see the virtual service in the, in the project directory in Bank V5. There it is, dev test tree. Well, there you have it. Our first day of 8.0 is now complete. Um, this has been Stefana Muller, your product manager for CA Service Virtualization. Do get in touch with me on the community if you have any questions on this new feature, or you can reach out to me on Twitter, take a look at the slides on SlideShare, or connect with me on LinkedIn. It was great to speak to you all. Bye-bye.